Welcome to The Maltese Vegan So what's going on in Malta right now? Well, particularly important is the fact that there is going to be a referendum uh, on the 11th of April against spring hunting or rather to abolish spring hunting. Uh, the people have decided or, or rather at least a faction of the people have decided that spring hunting should be abolished. This is something I applaud. I finally see people becoming more aware. Um, in Malta, the EU does not allow, well, in, most, in all of the EU, that does not allow certain type of hunting, um, especially in spring when birds are nesting. And uh, in Malta, we had this uh, exception where we were allowed to keep hunting even in spring for 21 days um, three different uh, bird species and apart from the fact that killing is killing whatever species uh, is, is being killed um, it, there was also the problem that hunters were also uh, shooting at protected species so um, that kind of added to the fire uh, to, to actually abolish uh, spring hunting. So there will be this uh, referendum. Needless to say, there were campaigns from both sides, um, from those in favor and those against. Those in favor are obviously um, the, the hunters that are in favor of, of keeping spring hunting, and those against are shouts. That's S H for spring hunting and S spring hunting out. So when, if you get those letters, then you get shouts. And uh, they're mainly made up of an association of the people inside an association called Bird Life in Malta that uh, are let's say they protect birds. They 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 bird watch. So they like birds alive as opposed to the hunters who like birds either in their stomach or in a showcase. However, um, although, well, it's needless to say that I will be voting no, since it is one step, albeit a very small step, towards animal protection. protection. I must point out that the points that uh, both the hunters are making and shout um, leave to be desired. I mean, they, they. It shows that we're still so far away from actually having compassion for animals, and uh, you realize how tightly these metaphorical blinkers are on. Hunters state that if this ref referendum abolishes spring hunting, then all hunting, fishing and horse riding, racing will be next. The problem is actually that this is precisely what will not happen. Shout campaign against spring hunting. They want to end spring hunting since it stops birds from reaching their nesting grounds, thereby diminishing the population of, of birds. They have decided, it seems, that a compromise between hunters and bird lovers is to let hunters enjoy their hobby in a time when it is fine to kill birds in autumn. Hunters argue also that why abolish hunting? Uh, you say you love, they say that, what they say is you love animals and yet you eat them. And they are inversely right. I'm sure their logic is that if you eat animals then hunting is fine. Whereas the real issue here is, if you think hunting is wrong, and it is, then why are we still eating animals, promoting violence on them and violating them? Then there is the hobby argument. Hunting is a hobby or a passion, so they say. I'm sure it is for them. It must be if you are able to cold-heartedly kill animals. I'm also sure that a psycho murderer, a robber, a serial killer, a rapist, and a pedo might also 
reason the same way. That does not justify the deeds. Killing is killing. Taking another's life, a life which is not your own. How dare you? Similarly, the tradition argument. Hunting is a tradition. It is our heritage, you hear the hunters say. I am not against tradition, and we should keep on celebrating the kinds of traditions that we are proud of. Hunting is not one of those. Fights to the death were tradition. Giving one's daughter for marriage were tradition. Hun hanging people was tradition too. Offering sacrifices, human or otherwise, was tradition. We are shocked by Chinese killing thousands of dogs for their meat, even though it is their tradition. In other words, tradition, as you can see, does not make any act inherently good. Shouts, on the other hand, urge people to vote against spring hunting so that then they can enjoy the countryside and picnics in peace. If only that were the case. But I doubt the general Maltese public would really care about something that involves movement or activity and does not involve eating, or at least in most cases does not involve eating and is missing a te television. The hunters are probably the perfect excuse to stay home. I am also beginning to wonder if people are really going to have more picnics once spring hunting is abolished. That would probably mean more cheese and ham or tuna sandwiches and, worst of all, barbecues. A scary thought. As I already said, I will be voting no. How can't I do my part to protect these innocent creatures? All this video was a criticism of both campaigns, not the final goal. It was an attempt to raise further awareness. I ask that you do the same. Dig deep, be compassionate, vote no. And hey, why not? Go vegan. Shout, shout, let it